The objective of Move Up UCI is to encourage each participant to engage with more enthusiasm throughout the day, to improve personal health, work performance, and life experience. In other words, we want everyone at UCI to be happier, healthier, and more motivated. First, let me say that I'm not your doctor. This program is not designed to diagnose or treat psychological or physiological pathologies. You should check with your doctor before you engage in any of the activities we suggest. We want you to be more motivated to achieve that to which you aspire. If you think about those people whom you know that, are, that motivate you, they generally fall into three categories. Those who are happy and raise your spirits. Those who smile through adversity and inspire you. And those who challenge you and make you want to prove yourself. Today, we would like to motivate you to motivate yourself by raising your spirits. We want you to smile. We would like for you to consciously smile at three people today and every day for the remainder of the program. You might already be one who naturally smiles at everyone. That's great. You're one step ahead. You might enjoy this exercise anyway because when you smile consciously, it's a little different. You might try adding another healthy habit today if you prefer. If you feel uncomfortable smiling for no good reason at friends or strangers, then you need this. You might be very noble. The one who's saving lives through research that cures disease or your work might be the solution to a societal problem. But if people don't enjoy being near you, then you're not as powerful or productive as you could be. Everyone wants to work with people who make them feel good, and genuine smiling is one of the most simple and powerful ways to make people feel good. In the traditional habit loop, you have a cue, then a routine, then a reward. When you're training circus dogs, for example, you cue the dog, he does the trick, and then you give him a treat. After a while, he does the trick whenever he gets the cue. Humans work the same way. After we get rewarded enough, routines become routine. They become part of who we are, and we don't need the treat to keep going. In Move Up UCI, we want to create healthy habits that make you happier, healthier, and more productive. To make a habit, you'll need to create your own habit loop. What I want you to do is think of something that is already a habit for you, then attach your new habit, like smiling, to it. BJ Fogg would say that your current habit is an anchor habit because you're going to anchor your new habit to it. Let's say you park your car every day at Mesa Court and walk to Steinhaus Hall. Walking from your car is the anchor habit. Smiling is the new habit. You're going to attach to the anchor. So the old anchor habit becomes the cue or trigger to the new habit. You can pick any healthy habit that interests you, but I picked smiling because it's probably the easiest for most people, and you can start it right away as you're watching this, and it's one of the ultimate objectives of this program. We want you to be happier, healthier, and more motivated, which means you'll be smiling more. We can't forget the end of the habit loop, though, or you'll be less likely to keep up with a new healthy habit. You'll need to reward yourself. In the three smiles exercise, and most of the others that you'll be develop as part of this program, you'll be doing really simple and sometimes powerful stuff. You should smile consciously. Eventually you'll become unconscious, but for now, I want you to remain conscious and give yourself a mental pat on the back every time you do your new behavior. A simple fist pump is a mental attaboy, and it's all you need. Think now about what your reward will be. You can always change it later. Make sure you reward yourself every time, though. The important thing is that you generate the feeling of success. That layering of success after success every day will create a platform that will give you the experience and the confidence to do greater things in the future. This isn't just feel-good, fluffy stuff. There is science behind the health advantages of smiling. Smiling prompts neuropeptides to improve your mood and ultimately your health. It doesn't even have to be a real smile. Researchers at the University of Kansas looked at the effect of smiling on the recovery of stress. They found that genuine smiles work the best, but even subjects who use chopsticks, yes, chopsticks, to hold a fake smile had a better result than those who didn't smile. This is not new stuff. In the 80s in UC San Francisco, researchers found that when people mimic different emotional expressions, their bodies produce distinctive physiological patterns, such as changes in heart rate and breath rate for each emotion. Smiling and laughing helps make you happier and healthier. 
Recently, I gave this exercise to one of my students who also happens to row on the crew team. Since Kevin has an anchor habit of walking to the crew base every morning at about 6 a.m. and seeing a group of about 15 guys, he thought that would be a great opportunity. He asked, should I start with doing my three smiles to the crew team? I answered, no, absolutely not. I've seen those guys in the morning. They're really crabby and tired. They need the smile exercise more than most, but your objective is to build a platform of success and working with a tough crowd makes it harder to get that feeling of success. If that's the only time you regularly see people to smile with, then do it. But it's smarter to start with an easy crowd. If you only see grumpy people throughout your day though, smile at some grumpy people. When you're changing habits, it's always best to start with the easiest path possible. After your behavior is habitualized, then you can face more challenging situations and maintain your good habit. If you're a free spirit and you change your regular routines every day, then you might have two anchors on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'll do my three smiles after I park my car and when I walk to the administration building. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'll do my three smiles after my Zumba class. If smiling doesn't come naturally to you, I have three suggestions. Think about those times recently when you were laughing with someone whom you enjoyed. Or think about someone in your life who has a great smile. One of the people here at UCI that I can always depend on to cheer me up is Diego. Here's Diego. How can you help but smile when you look at Diego? If you think of him later today, you're likely to smile. Would it be a bad thing if you were the person that people thought of when they wanted to feel good and smile? A third option is to fake a smile. Even when you give a fake smile, the chemistry in your brain changes for the better. Thich Nhat Hanh gives us this wisdom. Sometimes your joy is the source of your smile, but sometimes the smile can be the source of your joy. Small changes are easy and you're more likely to succeed. Big changes are hard and less likely to succeed unless your motivation level is high. You can start any healthy habit at any time. We're starting with the three smiles activity because you can start that right now, even as you're watching the screen, although we prefer that you smile with other people. Start with the smiles today and tomorrow after your anchor habit. Then add more healthy habits when you feel ready. Right now, starting with a small change like smiling more might not seem dramatic enough to improve your health and happiness. Keep the words of Mother Teresa in mind. Be faithful in small things because it is in them where your strength lies. Or perhaps Zig Ziglar. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. <laughs>